And I'm really excited right now to be joined by our May Band of the Month, Astro Color. What's up, you guys? Welcome! Yeah. Yeah. Push Too Hard single is so phenomenal. And it's like, we've been really enjoying it for the last month. So um, go ahead, please, somebody go ahead and tell us about how it came to be. And Ren, feel free to chime in there at any point. Yeah, I think, well, from uh, the, the song originally started, um, we just kind of put down a beat. Um, and I was trying to invoke some sounds that reminded me of an old, uh, an old house song by uh, Saints and Sinners, which is kind of where we, uh, we came up with the name. Um, the band jammed over top. Uh, my partner Thomas from Righteous Rainbows came up with the brilliant idea of reversing the bass line for the choruses, which give it that big slippery, rubbery sound. Mm. And then once it all came together, we uh, just realized it needed some really, really sultry, sexy voice, so we phoned up Ren, just like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had you uh, heard or been a big fan of uh, Fox Club before, or like, why was she your first choice? Uh, try to ignore that she's on the phone right now. <laughs> 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 um, well, we've worked together in the past. Um, I've worked helping out Fox Club in my studio, doing some producing and engineering for them. Okay. They sang some overdubs um, on other projects that I have. So. So we're all friends, and we, we know each other, and we know each other's talents. So it was just one of those things where you, you know, your friend's got the right voice. You call him up, and away there you go. go. Yeah. Now, away you go, Ren. But I mean, can you talk about what it must have been like to get asked by Astro Color here? And you know, there's all this love for Astro Color, and you know what they can do. You know, what did it sound like to you, or what was the feeling for you to get asked to sing on it? Oh my God, it was it was really exciting. Um, we had been asked by Neil to do some backing tracks for a couple of songs so we didn't really know where everything was going to fall in the end just uh, put a bunch of stuff down and then when it came to push too hard I think that the night that we recorded it I think Neil and correct me if I'm wrong but um, we heard the song and recorded it the same night and uh, I didn't even really think much of it it was a lot of fun to sing <laughs> and uh, Neil had come up with these cool lyrics mm. But um, definitely when the finished product came out, we were all just amazed. And I mean, that's just a testament to Astro Color and what they do for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think specifically, if I, I remember correctly, we'd um, gone back and forth with the idea of, of having that kind of sultry female voice um, doing the lyrical melody that I've, that I've been working up and, and specifically taking some cues from things like Sade, where, where she sings like kind of the colorful notes in the rest of the band kind of dances around her. Um, so that's, that's very much where those, the concept came from. Because while I have you here, Tim, I have to ask you about um, the Christmas record. Um, you know, it's, it's such a neat thing to do. I mean, and this is what I wanted, was that history lesson. Um, take me through how kind of it all evolved from, first it's a weird party, and now we have Astro Color, and then um, this EP that's relatively short, and then we have this Christmas record, which is like, it blows up and gets so much love. Um, and then now bring us to now in the uh, Astro Color 2 that's out. Well, I think that probably where it first starts um, was that Weird Party um, as, a, as a band. And that's, of course, the full five-piece band, mm -hmm. other than me in Astro Color, mm -hmm. um, came to my studio. Mm -hmm. And my partner in Righteous Rain was Thomas and I um, engineered the Weird Party album. So. Right. Um, we had uh, done the recording for them as well as embellishing with um, some synthesizer work and some of the other kind of bells and whistles, like I said, yeah. that we do. So, yeah. uh, so that so it kind of started there, and then and then these guys went off and um, struck up a deal with their label, which landed the Christmas album. And specifically, correct me if I'm wrong here, but the label said, "Yeah, we'll sign you." And specifically, can you guys make us a seasonal album? Because that's something we're short in our catalog. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of. It was so different than what Weird Party was doing. That, yeah. uh, they wanted it as kind of a different project. So we thought, yeah, okay, let's do it under this name and see what happens. And then that kind of morphed into a full deal with them, yeah. uh, which had options on it. And that's how we've gotten to where we are now with the, the new recording. Were you a little surprised at like, just how positive the feedback was and like how far Absolutely. it kind of went, right? Absolutely. It was yeah. such a weird risk to do. I mean, we went really kind of left of center or, or whatnot. Uh, with the whole idea, and and uh, it was either sink or swim, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. we we just kind of dove in with it fully, and, and it worked out quite well. Yeah, yeah. You know, I remember the funniest thing about that was was you know you guys had um, done your your engineering on that album separately, and then came back to Thomas and I to to do more uh, synthesizer and bells and whistles and that kind of stuff. 
So Thomas and I are down in the studio like every night for three weeks in February working on Christmas music, <laughs> which is a, a really weird month to work on Christmas yeah, music. Yeah. I actually worked on that album for a year. It was recorded in uh, 2014 at Christmas, and it came out for 2015. Yeah, right, wow. Yeah. Um, and then uh, this is the new album that's out now. I was spending a little time with it this morning and really enjoying it, um, Astro Color 2. Um, and maybe you can tell me, like, again, coming off, I don't know if that success with the Christmas album influenced or, or did anything to change trajectory or anything like that, but what were you hoping to accomplish uh, with this new album? Well, I think we're just kind of keeping fresh and, and mm -hmm. trying to do new things. And, you know, when we did this jam with Neil originally and, and, and Thomas, we just created a whole new style of music that was separate from what we were party was doing. It was different than a Christmas album. Yeah. And it just keeps evolving. And so this, we have the Astro Color 1 EP, this one that's Astro Color 2, we've got a third one coming out sometime later this year, we haven't decided yet. Yeah, cool. Uh, and we're already recording more stuff, which is kind of different than what's already been done, so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that live. <laughs> oh, good. Astro Color featuring Fox Glove in the zone at 91.3, our band of the month for me here. It makes me sad that June's about to start, really, because I've been loving hearing the song on the radio so much. Um, but added the uh, album to my collection this morning, and I'm really excited to spend some time with it over the summer. Man, like, it's just that, like, I don't know how to really describe it, but it's that, like, after-party, like, just mood-setting music. It's it's just so good, you guys. Well, thanks very much. much. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, we have, uh, like I was saying this morning, I was listening to it, so it is available now, Astro Color 2, on uh, wherever you get your music, pretty much, um, as well as there's this limited... Uh, run of vinyl you guys created. Yeah, we did 60 copies and we're almost all sold out. There's four left at Ditch Records. Okay. There might still be one at Final Envy, but that was last week. Yeah. And there's one right here to raffle off to win it.